The U.S. Naval Academy was founded as the Naval School in October 1845 on Fort Severn in Annapolis, Maryland. In 1851, it became the Naval Academy. With the exception of during the Civil War from 1861 to 1865, when the Academy was moved to Newport, Rhode Island, it has remained in Annapolis. Much has changed since 1845. As seen on this map depicted in white, the original Fort Severn was just 10 acres. It was built in 1808 to protect the Chesapeake Bay approach to Annapolis and Baltimore during the War of 1812. Between 1847 and 1941, the Navy expanded the Academy farther into the city of Annapolis through 12 separate land purchases, noted in dark yellow, including two major ones across Dorsey Creek, which is now College Creek. In addition, in the early and mid-20th century, five major landfill projects, depicted in light yellow, extended the academy into the Severn River to the north and east. Today, the Naval Academy occupies more than 300 acres. The most prominent buildings on the yard today date from the early 20th century, including Bancroft Hall, Mahan, Sampson, and Carter Halls, the chapel, and the superintendent's house. The Naval Academy yard was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1963. This video brings to life the Naval Academy's evolution from its Fort Severn foundation to the present day. In this 1845 sketch of the Naval School, the superintendent's and professor's offices, officer's quarters, and superintendent's house are center left. Just above them is the gatehouse. To the right is the kitchen and mess hall. At the bottom is the old mulberry tree, which remained until 1895 when it was destroyed in a storm. Present day Memorial Hall resides in its place. At the bottom of the sketch sits the Fort Severn Battery. During the Civil War, when the midshipmen and faculty were in Newport, the Army returned and used the campus as a Union Army Field Hospital. As you can see in the bottom right of this 1862 painting of the Academy and Greater Annapolis, and again in an 1864 sketch, Hospital tents and temporary barracks occupied most of the campus. Faculty and midshipmen returned in 1865 after the war. The new superintendent, Vice Admiral David Dixon Porter, oversaw significant upgrades to the academy, including this new barracks building for the midshipmen on a site between today's Naval Academy Club and Mahan Hall. This barracks stood until 1906, when it was taken down once the first wings of the new Bancroft Hall were complete and ready to house midshipmen. Porter also oversaw the two largest land purchases in the Academy's history, both from Charles Reese. In 1868, the Navy purchased 67 acres across College Creek to expand the Academy. The following year, 46 more acres across College Creek were purchased. These areas were known as Strawberry Hill Farms and Prospect Hill. This 1879 photo is taken from the new barracks building erected during the Porter era. In the foreground is the Tripoli Monument commemorating Navy heroes from the First Barbary War from 1801 to 1805. It is the oldest military monument in the United States, carved in Italy in 1806 and brought to the United States on board the USS Constitution. It initially resided at the Washington Navy Yard from 1808 and was damaged by British forces in 1814. It was later moved to the U.S. Capitol in 1831. It was moved to Annapolis in 1860. Moving clockwise from the far left are the observatory, the Lyceum, an early home of the Naval Institute, which was founded in 1873, and the old midshipmen quarters. At the top of Stribling Walk at center is the superintendent's quarters and, on the far right, is Blake Road and the old chapel. In the center, partially obscured by trees, sits the Herndon Monument, the only monument on the yard to never move from its original position. It was erected in 1860 in memory of Captain William Lewis Herndon, who went down with his ship, the SS Central America, on 12 September 1857 off the coast of North Carolina. To the right and not pictured are new red brick family homes for officers and faculty on what would become Upshur and Rogers Roads. This construction was possible after the Navy had purchased 10 acres of land along the Annapolis city side of College Creek in 1867. In 1869, a tract of the Strawberry Hills farm property on what is now Hospital Point became the site of the Naval Academy Cemetery. The cemetery can be seen in the tree line in this 1881 photo looking across College Creek from the new Midshipman Barracks building. 
The cemetery is the final resting place for 11 Medal of Honor winners, 27 Naval Academy superintendents, former chiefs of naval operations including Admirals Ernest King, Arlie Burke, and Elmo Zumwalt, and many other Navy heroes and notable personalities, including Senator John McCain. In 1987, with financial support from the Naval Academy Alumni Association and the class of 1959, a columbarium was constructed adjacent to the cemetery along College Creek for graduates who wished to be inurned at the Academy. An 1895 Board of Visitors report condemned the poor state of the Naval Academy buildings and facilities. As a result, Secretary of the Navy Hillary Herbert appointed a Navy Board of Survey to inspect and report the conditions and render a second opinion. In 1896, the Board of Survey reported their agreement and recommended the installation of a seawall and the erection of new fireproof buildings. The famous New York architect Ernest Flagg was hired in 1896 to design a completely new Naval Academy campus in collaboration with Board of Visitors member Colonel Robert Means Thompson from the U.S. Naval Academy class of 1868. The sculptor Evelyn Beatrice Longman was also involved as she won a contest to design the doors to the new chapel. When the Spanish-American War began in 1898, popular support for the Navy was strong enough for Congress to allocate the money necessary to undertake a major renovation and upgrade. Flag's project ran between 1899 and 1910, with 27 buildings constructed. Flag had studied architecture at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris in the 1880s, and his initial plan for the campus to be built in a French Renaissance revival Beaux-Arts classic design involved using limestone and red brick to match the colonial character of Annapolis. However, Congress ordered Flagg to use New England granite. This was initially used, but the cost of the project and the increased size of the brigade after the Spanish-American War forced Flagg to shift to terracotta and gray-faced brick after the initial wings of Bancroft Hall and Dahlgren and McDonough Halls were complete. Today, the Naval Academy represents the largest group of Beaux-Arts buildings in the United States. This 1908 sketch by the artist Richard Rummel shows the initial stage of Flagg's work. In the center is the first Bancroft Hall structure with what would later be wings one and two. To the Severn River side is McDonough Hall, originally a boathouse but soon converted to a gymnasium, and on the opposite side Dahlgren Hall, originally an armory. The Fort Severn battery still stands in front. It was demolished the following year, in 1909. Behind Bancroft Hall is the Marine Barracks, which would become the site of the Naval Postgraduate School in 1913. The Naval Postgraduate School was moved to Monterey, California in 1951. The flag design included the chapel at the highest point facing the Severn River across a quadrangle, which became known as the Yard. This 1935 photo shows new wings added to Bancroft Hall in 1919, Loose Hall on the Severn River side of McDonough Hall, which was finished in 1920, and the Natatorium adjacent to McDonough Hall on the Bancroft Hall side, finished in 1924. Between 1918 and 1924, seven buildings were added to Flagg's original 27. The bandstand opposite the chapel was constructed in 1922. The bandstand is named for Charles A. Zimmerman, who as Naval Academy Bandmaster composed the music for the Naval Academy's fight song, Anchors Away, in 1906. The crew house, Hubbard Hall, was dedicated in 1930 and can be seen just across the College Creek Road Bridge. Another 25 buildings were erected between 1939 and 1941, the most rapid building expansion in the Academy's history. One building added in 1939 is the Naval Academy Museum Building, later named Preble Hall, built by the Naval Academy Athletic Association and the Naval Institute. It was the Athletic Association's home until 1970 and the Institute's home until 1999 before the Institute was moved to Beach Hall on Hospital Point. It is now the home of the expanded Naval Academy Museum. The dispensary was also completed in 1939 and later named Leahy Hall and used for the study of foreign languages. In 1957, the Academy began its final major landfill project to extend the Academy to the east into the Severn River from an earlier landfill project completed in 1902 and to fill in Dewey Basin. This project would add 50 acres to the yard. This 1958 photo shows the project in work. 
Earlier, in 1941, a landfill project was completed on Hospital Point. At the top left is the new Halsey Fieldhouse, which opened in 1957. This 1962 photo and the next from 1965 show the completed landfill projects. In the 1965 photo, note the football field with outdoor track adjacent to Halsey Fieldhouse. This was the site of the Robert Means Thompson Stadium, where the academy football team played from 1914 to 1958. Prior to 1914, the academy football team played on different sites, including what is now Warden Field. Although there is some disagreement on when the first real Navy football game occurred, some believe it was 28 November 1882, Thanksgiving morning, when the academy played the Clifton Athletic Club from Baltimore, Indianapolis. While the midshipmen had to clear the field of snow that morning, and in the first half a boat was needed to retrieve the ball from the Severn River, Navy prevailed 8 to nothing at a time when a touchdown was worth 4 points. The Army-Navy football game was first played in 1890 at West Point. It was played in Annapolis and on the yard three times in 1891, 1893, and 1942. The football team's current home, Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium off campus on Taylor Boulevard, opened in 1959 and the Thompson Field was then used for football practice and outdoor track and field. Mitchell Hall near Bancroft Hall opened in 1961. In 1964, a new master plan prepared by John Carl Warnicke and Associates was informed by Flagg's original one, but called for major new construction on the Dewey Basin Fill. As shown in this 1970 photo, Michelson and Chauvinet Halls were placed on a low terrace with an opening to preserve a river view from the chapel. They both opened in 1969. At the far left, partially obscured, sits the new Ricketts Hall for the Naval Academy Athletic Association varsity team coaches and staffs. It opened in 1966. Other major buildings were added in the 1970s, including the library Nimitz Hall in 1973 and engineering building Rickover Hall in 1975, both seen at the top of this 1979 photo. In 1974, the Robert Crown Sailing Center opened adjacent to Santee Basin. The center was renovated and expanded in 2003. In this 1982 photo, newly opened Lejeune Hall can be seen across from Halsey Fieldhouse on the former site of Robert Means Thompson Field. Lejeune Hall is home to Navy swimming and diving and wrestling teams and is the first and only building on the yard named for a Marine Corps officer. The Alumni Center adjacent Warden Field opened in 1991 and is seen here in the bottom right of this 1992 photo. The Glen Warner Soccer Facility on Santee Road opened in November 2001. Across from the soccer facility is the Wesley A. Brown Fieldhouse for indoor track and field, volleyball and wrestling, which opened in 2008. In 1949, Lieutenant Commander Wesley Brown was the first African American to graduate from the Naval Academy. In 2005, the Commoner Uriah P. Levy Center and Jewish Chapel opened next to Mitchell Hall. Levy served in the U.S. Navy in the early to mid-1800s and was the Navy's first Jewish Commodore. The Academy's latest buildings include Hopper Hall, adjacent to Rickover Hall and Nimitz Library, which opened in fall 2020. Hopper Hall is named for Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, a pioneer in computer science, and hosts the Center for Cybersecurity Studies. It is the first building on the yard named for a woman. The Ron Terwilliger Center for Student Athletes opened in 2021 and is located behind Ricketts Hall and across from the varsity football practice fields. In November 2022, the Academy embarked on a multi-year project to protect against future sea level rise. The project aims to repair and raise the height of the seawall to address daily high tides and minor storms out to the year 2100. The Academy also plans to add earthen berms to protect from storm surge. Future projects on the yard include a lacrosse center, the renovation of the old hospital building, and another renovation of Bancroft Hall. The Naval Academy has come a long way since its humble beginnings in 1845 and has continually evolved to meet the educational, physical, military, and welfare needs of the midshipmen who begin their service to the nation on the banks of the Severn River.